guys, this is Matt Brunet, creator of Animation Lookback and Animax Reviews, and now it's time for another round of our beautiful updates. Now, just to let you know, I decided to add in a bit of music background to these videos because, um, normally it's a little bit boring just watching, like, just me, my voice, and listening to the updates. I decided to liven things up a bit with some, with a little music background, so, uh, I hope you guys enjoy it a bit, you know? just to entertain you a little while I'm talking about the updates that's going on. But anyways, other than that, let's move on to why you're here, which is the actual updates. Now, the first thing that I want to talk about is my New Year's resolution. And mine is that I want to appear in more sites. Now, the thing is, is that we all know that you could see me in three major websites, YouTube, Blip, and Mr. Coat. Now, there are several uh, video producers out there. They have been in several websites, like, all at once, like, five, seven, ten even, like, just to distribute their videos. The thing with me, though, is that I'm only on three. Granted, I, you know, the, these are great sites, and they give me, they give me, like, a ton of views, but the thing is, I'm only on three sites. I think it's time to add in a little bit more, you know? Try to add more websites to the list of sites that I'm on, you know what I mean? But anyways, it's time to add in one new one to... one new site to the list of websites where you can see me, which is RVT. Now, some of you may know it more by its previous name, Reviewtopia. Now, already the website has a lot of great talent in there. There's uh, Easy Rider, there's The Shades, there's Blockbuster Chick, there's Some Jerk with a Camera, there's um, a Game Theory is in there, Gaijin Goomba, and so much more great talent. So, I am more than happy to join into the, uh, to the RVT family. So, uh, it's really awesome. And the first video that's already on the website is my first part of Animation Look Back Dawn Bluth. So if you guys have the time, go ahead and check it out. Uh, even though you've already seen it, don't do it just for me. Do it more for the website, you know? Let the Animation Look Back community welcome RVT into, you know, into here, you know? So other than that, um, also I want to mention about uh, the list of uh, websites that I want to be in, like uh, just in general, because I'm hoping that in the future, as I make more of these update videos, I want to announce more new websites that I'll be in. Now, there's already many other websites that I'm interested to join in, you know, there's, uh, I'm interested to be in Geek Vision, I'm interested to be in Rablats, I'm interested to be in The Agony Booth, in Nerdvice, or, heck, maybe I can go and dream big, maybe I might join Shea Apocalypse, or even that guy with the glasses, who knows? <laughs> but yeah, hopefully, um, when I make more update videos, I'm hoping that I'll announce more new websites to the list of websites that I'll be in. So, hopefully, so far I'm in four, and hopefully, let's see if it'll grow. But anyways, uh, let's move on right now to a bit of sad news right now. I just want to get these out of the way. The first one being that in late January, I have keep getting messages and emails and all that kind of stuff regarding the closure of Junction Point. Now, for those of you who don't know, Junction Point is the video game company that created the Epic Mickey franchise, in which the first Epic Mickey is actually one of my favorite games of all times. Um, I, I've already mentioned it tons of times before in my videos. Uh, I, you know, I find the gameplay, it's pretty alright. I don't really have much to complain about. But the story and just the concept of like all the forgotten characters in this, like, in a dark tale with Mickey Mouse and like I said, all the forgotten Disney characters, not just in cartoons, but also in theme park rides and all that stuff, in a, in a twisted Disneyland, it's just amazing. And, like I said before, due to, the clo due to the poor reception that Epic Mickey 2 got, both critically and financially, uh, the entire company had to close down, Warren Spector left Disney, and all the employees pr are pretty much jobless. Um, I just want to say that, personally, 
Uh, I'm both pretty sad and shocked about the news. Like, I knew that Epic Mickey 2 would be, like, wouldn't do well because the game for me is a bit, like, between meh and okay, but I didn't know it did so bad that it, it had to, the company had to close down, you know? I, I'm just a little disappointed. And what saddens me even more is that there's no longer going to be an Epic Mickey 3. And that's the thing, because at the end of Epic Mickey 2, they they hinted that there would be an Epic Mickey 3 with, uh, I think, the Peets would be the main villain of the game. You know, I really... It's just that for me, the concept is so good, and it... You know, and I really do enjoy it, at, both as a gamer and a Disney fan. I really wish that they could explore a lot more into that, you know? But it's uh, too bad that... Uh, it had to be closed down, so yeah, I'm pretty sad about it. And another piece of sad news that I want to talk about is about Fantasy Movie Memories. Now, for those of you who don't know, Fantasy Movie Memories is another uh, online documentary series, much like Animation Look Back, except um, it talks about uh, fantasy films uh, made during the 90s and the 80s. This is. Um, this is more of a big uh, collaboration work in Mr. Code. Um, uh, not only have I worked on it as the narrator, but there's also uh, uh, Sam Fleming, also known as South Jersey Sam. He's the editor. Uh, Logan Rydenbaugh. He was the. He's um, uh, he's known as Huey Two More in Huey's Animated Reviews, and a lot more. Um, a lot more uh, producers. They've helped out on it. This is. It's. I see it kind of like the Mr. Code. Um, version of the anniversary videos from that guy with the glasses. So, but anyways, what I want to say about Fantasy Movie Memories is that, unfortunately, it is cancelled. There's not going to be any more Fantasy Movie Memories. Uh, this is mostly because there, there's a lot of uh, behind-the-scenes problems, and it's really unfortunate, you know? Um, I just want to say that uh, all I can say right now is that um, I really had a great time working on Fantasy Movie Memories. Logan, you've been a great coach, a, a great narrating coach to me. Um, I don't think uh, I would have, I don't think I would have pronounced a lot of things better if it weren't for you. So you've been a great help for me, and uh, so uh, all I can say is uh, thank you guys so much for making me uh, be a part of the team. And all I could say is, uh, in memoriam of Fantasy Movie Memories, is to watch what I think is the best episode, is the Flight of the Navigator episode. Mostly because um, we have an exclusive interview with the director of the film, Randall Kleisner, and, the big one for me, that guy with the glasses himself, Doug Walker. And uh, personally, I find it to be such a magical moment for me to hear um, my voice, then followed by Doug Walker. You know, this is the closest thing I'll ever be in a video with that with that guy with glasses. So um, it's just amazing. So um, I recommend you guys to go ahead and check it out. Um, if it's uh, and also, I just want to mention that rather if the show is canceled like fully or if it's if it's there's just going to be a long delay that i'm not sure we'll just have to wait and see maybe there's going to be more maybe there's not but for now there's not but anyways let's move on to more happier news right now and um even though i have lost a uh, great documentary show i have actually gained a podcast Yes, I am in a new podcast called Cinema Royale, where we mostly talk about movies in general. Uh, not just about, like, the movies themselves, but also about the movie industry in the whole. Um, for example, there's already a few episodes out. There's, um, the first one is Practical Effects versus CGI, and the second one, which is, uh, pretty much my subject, uh, is Pixar Losing Its Touch. Now, I'm not going to be the only one in this podcast. There's a lot more great people. Uh, there's the host, Mike Scooter Janik. Um, I think I'm pronouncing his name right. 
And also alongside me is uh, fellow members of uh, Mr. Coat, which is James, also known as Hymitude, and Morgan from Vaulting. So uh, I highly recommend you guys go ahead and check that out. It's actually a lot of fun. I really do enjoy making it. And also it's a bi-weekly show, so uh, I'm not sure exactly when it's released. It's like every bi-weekly during the weekend, so go check that out. And um, also, another thing that I want to talk about is the Mr. Co Contributor Awards. Now, pretty mu it's pretty much self-explanatory. Um, every year, uh, the, the site Mr. Co pretty much has this uh, award show just given to all the people uh, at Mr. Co. And uh, I have been nominated a few times there, actually several times. I've been nominated for seven Godforsaken Awards. Oh my god, that's actually, that's pretty much a lot. I think even more than last year. And uh, hold on a sec. I wrote it all on my iPod just to, just to see all the nominations. So we have, I am nominated for best top 10 list, which is for my uh, top 10 worst films based on a cartoon. Best multi-part series for animation look back. Best audio commentary for uh, animation look back Disney part six. Best writing for my review of Epic Mickey 2. Personally, I find that a little weird, but okay, sure, why not? At least I'm nominated, so I'm happy with that. Best editing for uh, Animation Look Back. And then the big ones, best informative series for Animation Look Back. And best review show in the category of animation for Animat's reviews. So, so first of all, um, uh, first, I just want to say congratulations to all the other people at Mr. Code who got nominated. Uh, there's a lot of people, so uh, just narrowing, narrowing it down there. Congratulations to Sam, Morgan, Logan, James, uh, David, Tony, uh, Kaylee, uh, Joey, uh, the animated heroine. I forgot your real name, but yeah, pretty much congratulations to all of you. Um, and also, I wish you the best of luck in the awards show. And as for you guys who are watching it, if you want to know how to vote, first of all, go to the Mr. Code website to see who else is nominated. You know, like, I've only mentioned the ones I'm in. And also, go to Mr. Code's YouTube channel and message him who you think should be the winner in each category. Now, you have until March 1st, so... Go ahead and uh, go vote, and uh, we'll see who wins. And now, before I go, I just want to mention a, a very special little lady, in the, who in DeviantArt is known as Miss Lady Demon. Now, the reason why I want to mention her is that on Christmas, she gave me this amazing gift of three months of premium membership on DeviantArt. Now, if I can be very honest, uh, I just start. I just got the hang of uh, DeviantArt to just to. I know only the basics. With uh, premium membership, it's a little bit complicated. Like I'm trying to know what to do with all my stuff. But um, the thing is, with this, it's the thought that counts, and that's why I absolutely love this gift. So thank you very, very, very much, Miss Lady Demon. And the thing is, all she asks is that she could be mentioned in one of my videos. And you know what? You got your wish. You got your special little section on one of my update videos. So yeah, that's all I want to say. Thank you so much, Miss Lady Demon, for that gift. Uh, I really do appreciate it. And also, if you guys have the time, uh, go check out her stuff on DeviantArt. It's actually pretty decent. Uh, I, I certainly enjoyed it, so maybe you do, you will as well. And that's going to be it for my updates, so keep watching. There's going to be a lot more great videos to come, including more Animation Look Back Pixar. Uh, tell your friends about me. Uh, keep uh, bringing in more subscribers. Uh, let's make that subscriber and views count raise higher and higher. And don't forget to check me out on RVT. And that'll do it for today. And see you later, dudes.